So I've been single for about three years. And when I say that it is so hard dating as a single mom, I really mean like it is so hard because you have to divide your time. Like if you start dating somebody, you have to think about the time, you know, that you're spending with your child and trying to commit to dating at the same time. Um, I will admit it's been really hard for me to even want to date anybody because I don't have time. I take care of my son by myself and um, when I'm with him, I'm with him like 110%. So um, We're going to let Dr. Rama Noodles explain what's happening here. You say dating is probably as a single mom probably the most difficult activity in your life. Yeah, absolutely, because you are, you're balancing the issue of your children. I mean, because now you have a whole, it's a whole different game. This isn't just about going out and being carefree. You're not carefree. You've got to balance the issues of your child, of being a mother, of balancing a divorce, and usually the hurts that came after the divorce. So it's a whole different landscape. You're bringing a heck of a lot more luggage into this. Well, I want to make sure I get this. So you see, you're not, you're not just bringing your luggage, you're bringing your, your kids. kids' luggage your kids. with you. Yeah, and your kids. <laughs> The biggest issue that a guy can face while dating a single mother is knowing that she has had a rough past, made horrible decisions, and might repeat all of that again. It goes without saying that you need to consider a person's history and previous choices before you commit to them. But with the help of social media, we're all able to see what single mothers are all about today. And that's why men are saying no to single mothers, among a hundred other things. Depending on the situation, the judgments they made in the past are a good indicator of the decisions they will make in the future, along with the quality of those decisions. So it's acceptable if the lady was married to a man who served in the military. It wasn't her fault. She didn't choose poorly. But if she just slept with the wrong sort of man and is now a single mother, do you really want to be associated with someone who has shown such terrible judgment? Would you be shocked if they continued to show such poor judgment in future situations? So let the past and present actions of a person offer you some idea of what they may do in the future. And he was talking about how he goes for single moms because he can get someone hotter and he doesn't have to put in effort because she's already been treated like shit by one man. She'll just let you get away with anything if you just give her bare minimum effort and don't abuse her. It was sick and disgusting. The men in the comments were all agreeing with it. And it made me realize as single moms, we have a stigma. We don't have- When you're a guy and you make money, you want to put and invest your money in your offspring, not in other people's offspring. Yeah, That's just the natural way yeah. of the world. That's how things go. Men typically want to take care of their own children. Now, what if she's a millionaire and there... she helps and builds an empire with that man? Okay, well, even better. If you're a millionaire, you're going to probably want a guy that's a millionaire too, right? Exactly, but okay. who said anything about a broke guy? You know, but, okay, talk... good. So what do millionaires have that are men? But my thing is like... Hold on, answer the question. What do men have that are millionaires? Options which means they can date girls that aren't millionaires and be happy. You, on the other hand, can't date, a can't date a broke guy and be happy. So they can get a girl that's 21, that isn't a millionaire, that doesn't have children, that can give him a family and he won't, he won't have to take on someone else's kids. Nothing could be worse for a kid than for the mother to divorce the husband and fail to provide a nurturing, secure, and safe home for the child. At the most fundamental level, they have already failed. Listen, the top concern for a single mother will be to look after and care for the child or children. To put it another way, you can never expect to be anything other than second choice, at most. Why marry someone where you're not a priority, be default, unless you find pleasure in that in some twisted way. In my opinion, you already know what's going to happen. You won't even play second fiddle. You'll be the one who does the cleanup. You will serve in that capacity. If you become engaged with a single mother who has previously shown bad judgment, her priorities in life will be such that you will fall far behind. A man can never be good enough for a single mom. I made a comment about single guys with no kids staying away from single moms and the single moms came out of the woodwork, hating on me, telling me I'm not even good enough. Take a lesson from that guys, they prove it. Six foot tall, six pack abs, six figure income, still not good enough. Therefore, expecting anything or engaging in any kind of emotional contact with a single mother is simply not going to happen. You shouldn't really expect anything different, but you will likely experience a lot of aggravation, manipulation, and trouble. Nothing more can be expected from them. Also, 
the fact that she will likely have financial difficulties, is the third reason to avoid getting close to single mothers. She's going to make bad decisions in life. She won't give a damn about anyone else in her life, and she'll struggle financially. When it comes to money, it's all about control and discipline. If you can exercise those two traits, you can also become wealthy. However, no matter how much money you make, if you can't perform those two things in that sequence, you'll lose the money that you have. It won't ever be enough. A single mother has essentially lost sight of the bigger picture. She was unable to see the whole picture. She had a kid with someone, but she is unable to nurture it, support it, care for it, or offer it a better life because of her relationship. I believe society has to do a bit more to educate them and assist them in preventing situations where they end up depending on other people. What I'm trying to say is that if you look at the past of someone's life, you'll start to notice patterns. If a person has a habit of mazing out their credit cards and failing to pay up on time, there's a good chance that he will do it again. If a person has failed to pay their debts to the bank, they're likely to do it again. Similarly, if a woman has a bad financial history, she doesn't save, spends extravagantly, and expects other people to pay for her lifestyle, there's a 100% chance she's going to do it again. So, look at a single mother's financial history, and you'll probably end up learning how she's going to handle your finances in the future and empty your wallet. One of the lessons I've learned in life is that character is what will ultimately shine through, so you must carefully consider that. Therefore, it doesn't matter what they're actually saying or what they have. What matters is that these things show them for what they are, and that's what you're dealing with. Your starting point is that it goes beyond mere intention since we can determine your intention from the outcomes. But this isn't set in stone since we must take into account both our own circumstances and those around us. Therefore, if a lady with children decides to leave a guy who is at war and has children, perhaps then she did a reasonable thing because she's looking out for her future and her children's future. But if she just left because she found the neighbor to be very attractive, then that's just something that's going to predict her future behavior as well. So, if you come across a single mom who's had a history of running away with good-looking younger men or men with more resources, then you know enough to not date that woman and stay away from her because she's going to end up doing the same thing to you. She's going to seduce you, make you like her and want her, and then ask you to commit to her in a long-term relationship. And if, by any chance, you end up marrying her, then you have my sympathies because you're going to get roasted. She's going to make sure she empties your savings, make you move to her hometown, and buy her and her children all the things she wants. And when she sees that you're trying to hold back, she's going to file for divorce. And we all know who's going to be the winner in that case, and who's going to end up losing their hard-earned money. Remember, women are not looking at relationships from a theoretical single mother point of view. They're looking at it from the getting their next month's bills paid point of view. So that's what you're dealing with when you're dealing with a single mother. You're dealing with someone who has no ability to look into the future and who has no ability to discipline themselves in the present. Almost every single mother you come across will have this issue. When you see her past relationships, and especially the relationship where she has her children, you'll realize that before making her decisions, she never really gave the future that much thought. And I'm not painting all single mothers under a single brush here, no. I completely understand that sometimes women have absolutely no choice but to leave their husbands when they become abusive, don't give them any sort of attention at all, or become addicted to drugs, alcohol, or gambling. I mean, in those scenarios, single mothers have no option, and the best thing they can do is to get out of those relationships. But, if a woman who has children, creates issues out of nowhere, does not respect her husband who provides for her and the children, who take care of their needs and pays for their lifestyle, if such a woman chooses to leave that man because she just got bored with the monotony or found another man who gave her a bit more attention, then I'm sorry, but that woman really didn't have any foresight, especially if she is not employed, has her own business, or is financially settled enough to know that she can take care of herself and her children in the future. If a woman is completely financially dependent on the man and her husband is a good man who provides for her by working hard day and night, and at the end of it, if she starts complaining that he doesn't give her the attention he used to give her, without realizing that he's only doing it for the whole family's financial future. If that woman chooses to go with another man, then she's again really blind to what the consequences will be for her in the future. She's used to having all her bills paid. She's used to buying food and groceries with her husband's income. She's used to taking trips financed by her husband's income and buying clothes for the children and herself. Then she just hasn't thought through the whole thing if she decides to leave him and I see it too often around me. 
Good men are being left by their women because they get bored with the same routine or want some adventures with younger men. These women end up divorced and stay single, desperately trying to finance a certain standard of living that they were used to having, paid for by their men. Although there are circumstances where women have no choice other than to leave abusive husbands, there are many women who leave good men just because they're not content with themselves and they completely ignore the needs of their children. So then, they're out on the hunt to find a suitable man who will basically finance the rest of her life. And that man, guys, is someone you don't ever want to be. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion. Health